Well, folks, uh, we're back. Hey, you know what? This is the next to last lesson. Of the year. Of the year. Wow. That's amazing. One more after this? Just two more podcasts total. Woohoo! So today we want to talk about organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. Is that like organic food? No. No. Why do they have the same name? Well, see, organic means that it comes from a living thing. It's really carbon compounds. And so we're going to just kind of get going with some carbon compounds today. So we're... So organic food is something completely different. We're just talking about stuff with carbon. Correct. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Distinction. Let's dive into it. So organic and nuclear chemistry. We're just going to do organic today. That's the first lesson. Uh, this is uh, podcast 21.1, organic chemistry. Uh, objectives here, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes. You don't know what this means yet, but you will. All right. So uh, what's a hydrocarbon, Mr. Sam? Hydrocarbon has hydrogen and carbon. Hence the name. Yeah, hydrocarbon. They're chemicals that have just hydrogen and carbon. You use hydrocarbons all the time. Examples of hydrocarbon include methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane. Hey. They all end in ane. Yeah, and they're all alkanes. Okay, here's an important they're called alkenes. They end in an A N E. And we have some numbers here, or yep. uh, some ner- terms. Little, little, yeah. And it's actually important to know what meth, eth, Probe, butte, etc. means. So let's kind of uh, walk ourselves through that. Um, you need to know that if you've got one carbon, it has the prefix meth. meth. If it's got two, it's eth. Meth. Three is probe, probe and butte. Now, the way to memorize, those are the ones that are hard for me to memorize. And so w- my elephant, you know what he does? He picks boogers. No, he plays basketball. Oh, okay. <laughs> which is silly, too. Yeah. My elephant. I have a three year old. <laughs> yes, Sorry. my elephant plays basketball. Methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl. You got to memorize those. And then after that, uh, pent for five, like a pentagon. I'm pretty good with that. You okay. know a pentagon. Hex sounds like six if you know your prefixes. Hept, yep. you, Olympic heptathlon, seven. Oct, octopus have eight, right? Nana is nine. Kind of sounds like nine, nine. And deca, like, uh, like decade. De- decade, yeah, or decathlon. So you do have to know these prefixes. That's that's uh, kind of the important thing. Yeah. And then the A and E just tells you that it's just got hydrogens and actually nothing but single bonds. All right. Now, there is also something called isomerism. Yes. Or isomerism. Yes. Or isomerism. All right. So if we have pentane, now p- pentane is just carbon bonded. And how many carbons would there be if that's it's pentane? That's five pentane pentagon. So I've got five carbons, right. and so I would have hydrogens mm-hmm. on the outsides of this. Now we're going to draw all the hydrogens here for now, but we're going to get lazy. We're going to get lazy fast. here real soon, and we're going to stop drawing the hydrogens. The idea, guys, is once you get all the carbons, you make them all have four bonds with hydrogens after you've gotten everything else put on. So this is called pentane. Yep. But there's also another variety of pentane mm-hmm. that you can have if you were to draw this one, two, three, four. I could put another carbon right there. Right, still five carbons. Five carbons. Still 12 hydrogens. And if you were to do the hydrogens, I could draw a line where these would each go. 9, 10, 11, 12. Look at that. So that is an isomer of pentane. It is. Now, could I draw another one? You could. I could draw this one, right? One, two, three, Three. four, and five, like that. Well, that's just like the one you just drew. Well, no, it isn't. It's It's the carbon. Exactly like the one you just drew. Why? Because it's flipped. It, yeah, you just flipped yeah. this one. So that one doesn't count. Yeah. All right, so that's not truly an uh, isomer. But you could do this one, though, guys. All right, and this one is also an isomer of pentane. It's the exact same thing. Isomer, basically, what is an isomer? It uh, has the same chemical formula with a different shape, different orientation of the atoms. Same formula, different... Structure. Structure, actually, is there. These are actually different chemicals with different properties. Yep. And we'll learn a little bit later how to name them. All right, actually, which right one now? right now? It's later. It is later. Name, you number the longest chain of hydrocarbons, make branches have the lowest possible numbers. You have this. Identify the branches, name the longest chain. All right, so let's do one. Yeah, now so, the trick here, guys, is, is actually finding the longest chain. Sometimes right. it's not in a straight line. So if this I were to look is. at, in this case, the longest chain is actually right here because yeah. that's number one, number two, number three, and number four. And then I've got a branch here yep. and a branch here. So his last name will be four. My elephant plays a basketball, so his last name is Butane. I should start with the back first. Yeah. And, uh, and then I'm going to say that I have, um, on carbon number two, mm-hmm. I have 
a one carbon branch, yep. and on carbon number two up another one carbon branch. Right. So we're going to say two comma two di. Dying. Now it's a one carbon branch, Meth. methyl butane. All right. Now why didn't you start numbering from the other carbon where you have the numbers one two three yeah. four? Why didn't you? You could also go way? one two three four, but the rule said if you look at the rules, you want to have the lowest numbers possible, lowest possible numbers, and a two of course is smaller than three. All right. So that's how you do. How about this one right here? Okay. Longest chain would be here. One, two, three, four. This is very similar to that last it one. Is. So this is going to be also a butane. Mm -hmm. There's only one branch, yep. and it's a methyl group having it's one carbon. So it'll be two methyl butane. Already. Not hard. All right, now this one's a little more complex. Got to find that longest chain. Yep. Uh, it's still, still one, four. Yep. two, three, four. So his last name is Butane, Still. and this will be just 2, comma 3, three. di. By the way, I say di because there's two, there's methyl, two groups. methyl groups. There's two methyl groups, yeah. Dimethyl. If you had three of them, it would be trimethyl or mm -hmm. whatever. You could also have ethyl groups and such like that. I don't know if we've got examples of that. We'll find mm -hmm, out. Probably. probably. Oh, here's some groups that gives you some ideas. A methyl group here. This would be an ethyl branch. Yep. This is a propyl branch. This is an isopropyl branch. Notice there's a little. Yeah, it bonds to the middle bonds carbon. Bonds to the middle the of the group, yeah. And this is a butyl group, yep. which is four. A sect butyl, when it bonds to the second one in the butyl. Isobutyl, notice it comes off, this is where the uh, regular chemical is. And this is called a tert butyl. You don't really need to know this for the AP test. Probably not. Yeah. All right. All right. We also have things called alkenes and alkynes. And alkenes have at least one double bond. Double bond. So alkanes are all single bonds, alkenes have a double bond, and, and alkynes has, have a triple bond. You know, what we should say also is that the formula for alkenes, by and large, is uh, CNHN. 2N. 2N, sorry. And then alkynes is CNH2N minus 2. And yep. while we're at it, alkanes, alkanes are 2N plus 2. Right. Let's actually flip back to that. This alkanes have a formula of CNH2N plus, plus two, 2, where N is the number of carbons. Yep. Now, if they form a ring, it's a whole other Yeah, they're ball rings. Wax, but they're just straight. Straight than your Ish, line. yeah. All right, when you name an alkene, you basically follow the same set of rules, except we essentially need to number the where the double bond or the triple bond is. Mm -hmm. And um, and we have to also indicate what what number it's on. And uh, we use the, the, instead of an A and E ending, we use the E and E ending or the Y and E button. Yep. All let's right, so few. let's do a few. Right. There are, all right, four carbons. Right. So one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to number it this way because I want the double bond to have the lowest possible right. number. Yep. So this is going to be, there's four again, butene. Teen. The E and E says it's got a double bond. And mm -hmm. I'm actually going to say one. one butene because at carbon number one, it's between one and two, you get the lowest number possible, yep. is the double bond. So one butene looks like that. 